Hey, it's entertainment news. Danny Trejo coming to Grand Rapids Comic Con. The actor known for roles in films including Runaway Train, Predators, Machete, The Devil's Rejects, Muppets Most Wanted, and more. According to event coordinator Mark Hodges, Danny is one of the most recognizable actors in Hollywood today and has amassed an impressive roster of memorable roles. This year's convention runs November 15th through the 17th. Organizers say Trejo will be there Friday and Saturday. Visit Grand Rapids, Com Grand Rapids Comic Con's website if you want more information. All right, when I saw him in Muppets, that's when it jumped <laughs> in. It, it, that's, that's, when when that's when you're real. You're that's, real. When you that's when the brand. And I was like, that's where I know him from. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, some unlikely partnerships between athletes and businesses, as you know, Michelle, they are not uncommon in any way. Right. But NFL quarterback Will Levis, well, he might have just been part of the strangest one. Yes, the 25-year-old Tennessee Titans QB has partnered with condiment brand Helmet. Uh. He has created Will Levis Number no. 8. It's supposed to be a mayonnaise-inspired fragrance named after I'm the number no. 8 jersey he wears. Ew. Now, in a recent video, Levis is seen <laughs> smelling from a bottle of Hellman's mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, eating a piece of bread lather than Gross. a condiment and then dipping his Ew. finger in it and actually eating it. Yes, it ends with the QB spraying himself with his <laughs> new scent. Okay, now of course many question the validity Seriously. of that video and whether this was just a joke. But of course Hellman's, they jumped in, they confirmed that it's actually a real partnership replying to a tweet saying, no jokes here, it's real and it's greatness. Now each bottle uh -huh. being sold for about $8, already sold out once, they say they are restocking it soon. I've heard it kind of has a flavor, I think of more of like a vanilla, a light musk. So I'm okay. That's not mayonnaise, which is not mayonnaise. So no. now I really want to take a jar of mayonnaise, and I want the Will Levis number eight, and I really want to see just how. <laughs> so I mean, they and that are. picture <laughs> and is that just picture. another level. I know. Well, we're just gonna take those partnerships to another level for sure. <laughs> okay. Well. A busy airport in the Pacific Northwest has nearly transformed itself into a vacation destination. Portland International Airport reopened its main terminal this week, and it's basically an indoor version of Oregon's outdoors. The renovation features dozens of trees, thousands of plants, also 49 strategically placed skylights in a Douglas fir ceiling cut from regional forests. That is stunning. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, now, on occasion, they'll have therapy llamas and alpacas greeting travelers. The price tag for the remake, more than $2 billion with a B. I guess they're hoping this is going to attract people to make this a layover <laughs> stop. Who the heck knows? A second renovation phase at the airport expected to be done by early 2026. That is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, the woodwork, is. everything like that. So they yeah. are definitely onto something there in Oregon for I sure. I hang out there for a little bit. Yeah, I yeah. could too for sure.